Hi everyone, welcome to Quiet Waters Farm and Craft. This is Joanne. Um, today I am making some sauerkraut. Um, I just pulled a bunch of cabbage heads out of our garden, so um, I'm going to show you all what you need for it. So this is a jar and it is a year old. It's pretty yellow. Um, the longer you leave it, the better it tastes. Um, I'm going to compare. I did this one early this morning and you can see how um, different it looks. This one is a light green and this one is um, a yellow. So you want it to be yellow and not green. So once the green goes away, it's good to eat. Um, I'd probably say you want to let it sit for about a month or two um, before you can eat it. Put that away. So here's our cabbage that we pulled out of the garden. Um, this is a pretty good size one. I'd say it's about four or five pounds. Um, but it turned out really good. I had to take about four layers off because those lovely little worms decided to climb up all on top of them. And so we got them all peeled off and cleaned. Uh, so I've already went ahead and I chopped up one of our bowls. So uh, you can use a food processor, but you want to be very careful because you don't want to chop this up too thin. Because if you chop it up too thin, then basically here in about two or three months, if you... Um, are cooking it, it's going to look like a jar of slime. So um, I wouldn't say chop it up too fine, but a uh, pretty good amount. Um, you know, when you eat it, it should not be too fine. So let's get started. Okay, so I got a quart. Um, if you want to use a pint, if you don't eat a whole lot, you can use the pint jars too. Uh, but our family really likes sauerkraut, so we just use the pints, or the quarts. I do do some pints, uh, especially when me and my husband are home alone and we want something to eat, I'll take some uh, hot dogs and cook those with the sauerkraut and just that pretty much makes our little meal if we just want something, something little that's hot out. So we're just gonna get this jar filled up and I did not cook my uh, cabbage. All I did was uh, I I let it sit in a hot bath in the sink for about 20 minutes just in case there was any more uh, worms or bugs in them. I just let it sit in there and that pretty much kills them. And then after that I'll uh, get it out and let it dry on a towel for about a half hour. Now I'm going to push this down because you want it to be as packed as possible. I'm making a mess, but that's all right. I'm push this down as much as you possibly can. Now you can use um, something else other than your hand to push it down if you want. It's completely up to you how you want to do it. I'm just going to keep mashing her down in there. Oh, where's my drawer here? All right, almost done. Okay. I only fill it up to right here on the rim. Got a little bit more to go. Because you do not want your sauerkraut to touch the top of your lid. Um, because that can rot your sauerkraut or your cabbage. Sauerkraut when it becomes sauerkraut. So now all we're gonna do. Now we're gonna use some salt. You do not want to use iodized salt. You want to use kosher salt or you can use canning salt. It's whichever one that you want to use. I use this one right here, the ball pickling salt, um, and it gives you other things that you can make also. Uh, but this is what we use here. So now if you're doing a quart, like what I'm doing, we use one and a half teaspoon. If you use a pint, you're just going to use one teaspoon of salt. So we're just going to set that in there, right on top. Okay. So remember, no iodized table salt. You need to use canning, uh, kosher salt, or the pickling salt, okay? The next step is just to get some water, and I we live in the country, so we run off a well. So if you live in the city, then you wanna go to the store and get some spring water, or if you know somebody in your family that has well water, you know, hey, knock on the door, can I have some water? You know, you don't need sugar, you just need some water, right? Uh, but we're just going to fill this up to right at the top 
of our cabbage. Okay. And all we do next, oh, I forgot to get those out. So we're going to get some, oh, there we go. You're going to get your lid. Of course, we want to wipe this off just so we don't get any water or anything on top. You just want to wipe that down. Okay? You can put your lid on there and your ring. And you're going to take this and put it someplace where it's not going to be disturbed, someplace where it's dark and cool. Basement, crawl space, wherever you want. Leave it there for a month um, and check on it. You might have to pop this off and you might have to add more water in there because if your water level is down here and you have cabbage up here, you're going to add some more water. Uh, but this is it. You don't have to cook it. Uh, you don't. No water bath, no pressure can or nothing. You just take this and you put it up and it is absolutely delicious. My husband's grandfather has been doing this for many years. He showed me how to do it and it is probably the best sauerkraut I've ever ate in my entire life. Um, but I hope that you like this video. Please give me a thumbs up um, and subscribe for more ch um, shows to come. So if you have any questions, please leave a comment in the box um, and have a blessed day. Thanks.